I have learned that the source of my happiness doesn't come from within me. It comes from giving to other people and connecting with others. I'm a high risk patient, so I figured the best way for me to make sure I'm safe and my neighborhood is safe is to make masks. I have gotten donations from my neighborhood, over 40 pieces of bed sheets, and I love to touch them and feel the textures of different ones. I did a lot of research initially after reading that you can make masks at home. I picked a pattern from a Dutch designer whose wife is an ER nurse. Working on the mask allowed me to stay in my happy bubble, having fond memories of sewing with my grandma in the summers when I was a kid and just distracting myself from the numbers ticking up every day on the news. So I decided to just be proactive and ask in the neighborhood if anybody needs masks and the need was already so big. I, it was like it was way too late almost. I've had ICU nurses desperately ask me for a mask because they didn't have anything outside of the ICU that they could wear. And they're like right there where they have all the corona cases. I have made, I think, a little bit over 150 by now. And all together with the people helping, we have distributed well over 200 masks. Corona, while locking us in, actually made my world bigger because I connected with people. I'm hoping that people will keep wearing masks to protect not only themselves, but mostly people like me who are high risk or elderly. So please, if you can, mask up. <laughs>